little behind this week, which is kind of annoying. Good morning. I am having a hard time trying to figure out where to start today. I have a pretty big to-do list of things that I need to get done in the next couple of weeks and I don't really, really know where to start. And I think I'm going to go to town today, which means I've only got a couple of hours before I have to leave. I don't have a car today, but I do have a bus. So there's a bus that comes twice a day at the tiniest little stop down the road, but it's like four kilometers away. I'm not going to walk there. I'm going to get my mom's partner to drop me off and my mom is at work. So I will catch the bus into town and then I will run a few errands and my mom and I can meet up afterwards. She's asked me to come in. So that's what I'm going to do in a little bit. But until then, I just need to do some things and I don't really know where to start and it's always the worst part when you don't know where to start but you have a bunch to do. It's almost just a little overwhelming, you know? I'm just gonna check my to-do list and kind of go through a few things on my computer. I've been working with a digital to-do list at the moment, which I really like. I always switch up between writing and typing depending on how I feel and how I wanna plan. At the moment, I am doing it in my habit tracker in the weekly goals section. So we're currently in the third week of the year and I'm a little behind this week, which is kind of annoying, but it's also expected because of the phase of my cycle. I try to every month go with my cycle. So when it gets to this week, I'm a little bit slower and that's fine, but I can pick it up in the other phases of my cycle when I have more energy and I'm more up and I'm just more focused. So I'm a little behind, but I'm still gonna be able to tick some things off because we're, you know, middle of the week and I'm trying to set goals that are just a little sort of realistic. They're enough of a challenge for me to feel the pressure of wanting to get it done in that weekly time frame that I'm motivated and I'm up and I'm working on them but they're also not so big that I have to keep pushing things over because I feel like when you keep pushing goals over to the next week, it's just really discouraging because you don't really feel like you're making progress. So I'm doing that, but I'm also trying to break my bigger goals down into really tiny, smaller goals to make them more um, digestible, I guess is the right word. So I'm just gonna go through my tracker, tick a few things off. I've fallen off uh, some of my daily habits in the last couple of days. I think sat Sunday, Monday, I actually did none of my habits. I have five habits for January. I may up them and change them when it gets to February, but I can tick off uh, three things yesterday and today. I have been really bad at my daily walks. A 45 minute walk every day is one of my goals. Actually, no, I can tick that off yesterday. I drank enough water yesterday. That's another one. I've got 45 minute walk and drink enough water. I have not been for a walk in days and I mean it's raining. It has not stopped raining. The weather's really awful and I just Ugh, I've just not been motivated. So, you know, it's fine. I was, I had a few days where I was hitting 100% of my habits, but I'm kind of down to like 60% at the moment of the day being completed. 0% for a couple days, which is totally fine because that's just gonna happen. But I like the being able to see how I'm going and tracking along and then setting myself extra goals. So you gotta be gentle with yourself, but it's also good to have some little challenges to try to work towards as well. So anyway, I'm gonna go through everything and just, you know, catch myself back up. I was a bit down and out yesterday, so I didn't stay on top of the things that I probably should have, but I've just played catch up and now I feel good. I feel like I know what I need to do in the next couple of days to get my to-do list all ticked off and I kind of have a bit of a better idea of what I'm doing today. Whether I get it all done or not, who knows, but at least I have an idea of the direction I'm heading for the rest of the week. Anyway, while I have you here, I'm gonna thank today's video sponsor, Surfshark. I've been a paying customer of Surfshark for the last few years, I think since 2020, and Surfshark is a VPN service provider, which stands for Virtual private network. There's a couple of reasons why I like to use a VPN. A VPN gives you the ability to change your IP address on your device so that your device then thinks it's in a different location, a different country, different city. One of the reasons I've always kind of done that is because I have been living between two different countries and sometimes even for work, I need my laptop to think that I'm in a different country and I want the search results to show what's available say in the UK or in America or in Canada, whatever it is. I just want my computer to think it's in that country so that I have access to the Google search results of that country. And then in a non-working capacity, if you are into watching TV shows and things like that, VPNs are very helpful for you to be able to access the libraries of different 
streaming services in different countries. For example, Netflix is not the same in every single country. And when I was doing my Christmas movie a day series on Instagram, there were a number of movies that I had to watch using my Surfshark VPN so that I could access those particular movies here in Australia because they just weren't available. And then the other reason that I use a VPN is for digital security. I am really, really big on my digital security, especially having a job where I make YouTube videos and my life is online. I like to have my online security pretty locked down and when you use a VPN, it masks your IP address and it just makes your internet browsing and your access online much, much safer. I also have a deal for you. If you use my code or click the link in the description, you can get an additional six months free. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So there is no risk to try it out. I know a number of you did DM me asking about what VPN I use to be able to watch my Christmas movies. So this is the VPN and there's a deal for you if you are interested. So click that link and make sure you check it out. Something I would like to do today is actually go into this drawer and start sorting out my clothes. This drawer has become very full. I am not going to be taking all of these clothes when I move and I would like to go through them and start dividing them into what's going to stay here and what's going to come with me. And I think the conclusion from my previous video was to just almost divide the drawer in half, right? And put one on one side and one on the other. I think that's going to be the best way to go until I'm ready to actually get my suitcases out and start packing things, which is probably going to be a couple of weeks away. That did not take very long at all. I don't know why I thought it was gonna take a really long time, but I'm just trying to be super decisive and just get it figured out. Over here on the left, these are all the things that I'm definitely taking. And then here I have some clear plastic hair ties and then sunglasses cases, sunglasses cleaner and just sunglass related things. And I don't know why they ended up in the back of this drawer. They just did because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. And then just here, this one little pile and then this one at the back is a maybe pile. Not really sure on those, but there's only like four things. So it's kind of, not too bad really. And then everything on this side is definitely staying and will go into my clothing tub over the other side, which reminds me, I do have to donate things. I'm not gonna take it to town today because trying to carry all that stuff on a bus would not make sense. But anyway, that's done. So that's one less thing I have to worry about. Did not take long at all. Also my flowers, they're actually doing really well. So I think the vinegar and the sugar little concoction that is now in that water is helping them survive. I mean, I do think dahlias tend to last a little bit longer than lilies anyway. They're not as sensitive. I have heard that you should be changing the water every few days. I probably should do that maybe tomorrow or the next day. That leaf should also come out. It's too low, too close to the water. Anyway, it's looking good. It's looking good. Everything is good. I actually need to get myself ready to leave. I need to pick an outfit and figure that out and get to the bus because I really don't want to miss it. There's only two a day. So if I miss it, that's it. I'm not going to town. I'm thinking about wearing an all black outfit today. I don't really want to wear this cardigan because it's just long and kind of oversized. It's so pretty though. I had a couple questions about this on my last video. It's from Mango, but like two years ago, so it's no longer available. But I did find one that looks really, really similar that is available. And I actually think it's the same fabric. It's quite a thick fabric, which is really nice. The new one though has pockets on the front, which I'm a little jealous of because that would be handy. This has no pockets. And if I had my time again, I would buy a long cardigan that has pockets. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wear just all black today. Simple yet effective, you know? so fluffy. I need to lint roller everything and I can only find this little travel size lint roller, which is really annoying. I'm just gonna step off camera for a moment. I would like to wear my black long sleeve shirts, but I think they're both in the wash. So t-shirt it is, and I'm gonna take my denim jacket. I just don't wanna be cold. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be cold or not. My feet are cold standing on the bare concrete. I need to put my slippers back on. I'm gonna go to Big W and get a proper size one of these. Honestly, I think I might just wear jeans. At least the jeans are gonna be easier. I changed my mind, I'm just gonna wear my dark denim jeans. Black t-shirt, dark denim jeans. Okay, that's better. But
can't believe I'm getting Easter eggs and it's January, but they're on sale and they've got strawberry and Turkish delight flavor and I have to get them. I need to treat myself to some chocolate today. I'm just, I need it. We're in the book section at the moment. My mom's looking for a book, but they have a whole bunch on sale and I think I'm gonna read this one here. It looks kind of interesting. I've decided I'm gonna get it. It's on sale for $12 and I like the sound of it. I think it's gonna be a good read. Now that it is well and truly back to school, there are so many more diaries and notebooks and just notepads and things like fun accessories. Like this is a little highlighter pack. I mean, it's very childlike, but it's still fun. They have lots of cute mugs and things. There was not this much stuff when I was in here like two weeks ago. We just got home. I did not realize that I was gone for five hours. Basically the whole day is gone. I got to town about an hour and 15 minutes before my mom finished work. So I just had to go to the post office and send off a package and just run a few errands. And then I met up with my mom and we went to Big W. We bought Maggie like 20 pink tennis balls. She loves tennis balls, is so obsessed with them. I threw about six of them at her as soon as I got in the front door. She's gonna be a tennis ball loving dog and she's gonna go through them so quickly. We also bought her the shell pool because she loves water so I might go out and fill that up this afternoon even though it's not exactly the hottest day tomorrow will be much warmer so I'm sure she'll love getting in the pool then and then just for myself because I felt like it I bought some chocolate I bought a bag of the strawberry Freddo frogs because these are my favorite I haven't bought any since before Christmas and then I also got Easter eggs I know it's Easter like what's we just had Christmas, but I got the strawberry filled ones because like the Freddos, I love the strawberry. And then I also grabbed the Turkish Delight ones as well because I just wanted some chocolate today, okay? Like I'm at this point today where I'm like, I am so ready to lay in bed. I don't want to do anything. <sighs> like I hate this week every month. Like it's just so not fun and I don't want to do it. And uh, you know, you know the vibe. Anyway, then I also got a book. Now, the this book looks like all wedding-y and stuff based on the picture on the front. Apparently, it's about a woman who is supposed to be getting married and ends the engagement. And then she wants to have this business venture and she needs to be married in order to get her inheritance to be able to do the business thing. So I think she meets this man. They kind of come up with a deal where they're gonna get married or something, but I think they end up falling for each other and it just sounded like a cool story. So I am gonna read this. I wanted to add reading a book to my list of things to do. I do have a book here that I started last year, but I am so particular and it takes me a lot to wanna get in and read. And if I just can't get into a book and I have to force myself through it, it's just, not fun so I kind of gave up on that other book and I'm excited to try this one. Good afternoon. What are you doing? There's one, two, and three. Yes. Hi. Hi. You hungry? Okay. Okay. I'll get you some food. Yes. Come on. It doesn't look like no. a sticker. Well, maybe it's not. I don't think you can scratch it off. I think it's just there. Over in this part of the yard, we have a passion fruit vine that runs the whole way along the fence. There's lots of passion fruits. I've eaten so many this summer. It's fantastic. There's another big green one. Uh, they usually drop to the ground when they're ripe, but there's none today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, hang on. There's one over here that's going to be almost ready. Oh, it just totally fell off. So it's very, very ready. What are you doing down there? What are you two doing outside this fence? There's one, two, two of you. 
Anyway, passion fruit. Lots of passion fruit on this fence. And then this is an apple tree. We haven't eaten any of the apples because the birds keep getting to them. Like, look, this is all that's left, the core. I don't even think that there's one single apple. Oh no, here, look, here's one that kind of looks like an apple still, hasn't been fully eaten. And then the passion fruit vine has woven itself into the tree. And for a moment the other day, I got really confused because I was like, wait, passion fruit trees are not a thing. No, not a passion fruit tree, just a passion fruit vine that is now in the apple tree. Down the back, we have a couple of vegetable gardens. We have some tomatoes in here. There's quite a few. They're not nearly ready. They're still very, very green. So these ones are tomatoes. And then I think there's a pumpkin kind of got itself in there as well. And then behind me, clearly the netting has fallen down and it's kind of just a bit of a mess in here. Oh, there's a spiderweb right in front of me. Uh, there's some chives another pumpkin and more tomatoes. I think these ones are little cherry tomatoes. Yeah, these ones are much smaller and they're gonna be ready soon. I think we picked a couple off the other day that were ready. And then this is just a pumpkin that, I don't know, somehow ended up here and now it's here. Ah, dragonfly. Oh my God, that scared me. Whew right in the face. And then down this side of the house, well, my mom has these really cool solar powered lamp posts. She's got three of them. They're very, very cool. I think this one is a plum tree and we just had so many plums off it. Uh, we didn't know what to do with, which was fantastic. So I was eating passion fruit and plums every day. This is a citrus tree. I think it might be a lime because there's a lime right there. I'm not sure what this one is. It's possibly a peach tree. Like back when I first got here, we had peaches nonstop, which was amazing. I've been having fresh homegrown fruit basically every day. This tree in the corner is insane. Look at how many lemons are on this tree. They're still all green. They haven't ripened yet, but this is a lemon tree. Look at them all. There's so many. Do you like your new ball? Do you like your new giant tennis ball? We got a two of these giant hot pink tennis balls and then a billion of the other little pink ones. Are you having a swim? Now you're in. She tends to get in once She's played fetch or something and she's like been running around. We've been playing fetch and I lost three balls already. Well, that was a fun afternoon. I didn't think that she was gonna get in the pool, but she will only get in water if she's been running around. And my mom has two old cast iron bathtubs out the back that have water plants in them. And she keeps diving in to these bathtubs when she's, you know, been running around and she's been knocking over all of the plants. And my mom has this really nice water hibiscus. It doesn't want it getting destroyed. So we bought her that little pool and yeah, we went and played fetch for a little bit. So I've had my exercise running around after her because she hasn't quite learnt to drop the ball yet. She loves the tennis balls, loves chasing them and getting them and bringing them back. She just doesn't know how to drop. And I've tried with, with treats, but even with the treats, she's so focused on the ball. She just doesn't want to drop it. So we were outside playing for a little bit and I have one of those like stick things that throw them really far. And I lost three tennis balls already over the fence. They're there, they're just under a lot of like scrub and whatnot. And I kind of need to be in different outfit to try and go hunting for them. Maybe like big gumboots because there's a lot of uh, spiky weeds and stuff over there. Once we kind of whip a snipper it or whatever, we'll be able to find all the tennis balls. But that's kind of the reason why we bought so many today because I keep throwing them over the fence because I keep throwing them too far. <laughs> and then she goes swimming. And to me, when she goes swimming, it's just the cutest. So I'm so glad that she likes the pool. I think she's gonna get a lot of use out of it especially in the next couple of summer months. I now need to decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of my afternoon because it's basically the evening and this day completely got away from me. My room is a mess. I feel like I should probably tidy up my room and I'm now blanking on what I wanted to do. Oh, I think I wanna do more like clothes figuring out, like just starting to get the idea of my packing and what I'm doing next. I need like a, a like a candy dish. Actually, you know what? I think I have one. This is my grandma's bowl. It's so pretty. I would love to take it with me when I move, but I just don't know if I'm gonna have the room for it. It kind of looks like a lot when it's all together. I didn't mean to buy myself this much chocolate. So I will space it out over the next week. I still have a passion fruit in my pocket. I'll go put it in the kitchen. But yeah, now I have a big bowl of chocolate to treat myself because I felt like I needed some cheering up. Okay, it's getting dark in here. I might have to turn my lamps on in a minute just to make it a little more cozy in here, you know? I'm back into my comfortable gym leggings that are covered in paint splodges from when I painted my room. I am a little bit stuck on trying to figure out what 
to do luggage wise, right? So I have my really big suitcase. How many suitcases do I take? And then do I need to buy another suitcase? Or do, if I have enough, do I ship a box over or something? Or do I just really pick my favorite things and leave a bunch of stuff here and wait until I come home like next Christmas and then pick up some stuff while I'm here? I don't really know what the solution is to that answer. I do need to keep figuring out the most important things that I wanna take with me. So I think that drawer is done. That was pretty simple. A lot more simple than I realized. I think I might look through this cupboard and start separating things. And I might just even take the stuff that I'm not gonna take with me out of there and just fold it up and put it in the end cupboard. There's just no point in me keeping it. If I'm not gonna wear it here, why would I wear it there? In fact, why would I keep it? I actually don't know. Now I'm getting myself all confused. Anyways, I'm just gonna go through this wardrobe first. Actually, it turns out before I do any of that, I just got cold for dinner. So I'm gonna go and have dinner and then I will come back and I will do the wardrobe. I had dinner. I've just made myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna have some of my chocolates and start sorting through this wardrobe. I'm also in the last stage of a Catan game that I am very much losing at, which is not very fun, but there's not much I can do. I just haven't been getting the dice rolls that I need, which is very, very sad because I had good spaces as well, but I've just been really unlucky. Like number six just has not been rolled that much. It's very annoying. Anyway, I am going to, yeah, open my wardrobe and well, actually, I'm just gonna finish this really quickly. I was gonna say I've become a bit of a night owl lately, but not like an extreme night owl, just by my standards night owl, because usually I am up early, bed early, but I have been going to bed about 11ish, which I know is not very late or very night owl-ish. But in terms of like when I do things, I've been doing things more in the evening rather than in the morning. So I have like a super lazy morning and then it'll be seven, eight, nine PM. I think it's seven something right now, maybe eight. I'm doing things like right now. I just, I'm doing things in the evening. So that's probably why <laughs> you've seen a lot more later evening videos lately. It's just because it's the time that I feel most productive and I just, I want to get things done. So yeah, I'm going to finish this game real quick and then do the wardrobe. Game's over. Thank God. That's done. Was not even close. There was no chance I had. Game's done. Wardrobe needs to be organized. My hot water bottle. I'm gonna need this later. Cause my stomach is killing me. Ugh. Yay ovaries. I literally just found Fredo for wrappers in my handbag. I like them a lot, okay? They're like my favorite thing. My wardrobe looks very different now. It's no longer cute and aesthetic. Everything's all packed up. I have all of my bags now put away. Accessories, shoes. Some of my shoes are packed up. Shoes I know I will not wear at all until I leave. Bottom shelf is just a bunch of storage stuff and I don't know, stuff. The second bottom shelf is accessories. Third shelf is, no, winter clothes. Winter clothes are on the second shelf. That's the stuff that's gonna make sense to take because it's going to be winter when I get there. The top shelf is summer and then the stuff hanging up I don't know, I haven't thought about that yet. I'll get to that later, but I'm just trying to figure it out because when I start putting it all together in one pile, it looks like a lot and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it into my suitcase. So now I'm starting to worry a little bit. Obviously I won't be able to really figure it out until I finally pull my suitcases down, but I might just have to pack my winter stuff and maybe look at putting together a box of the summer stuff because I want the summer stuff for summer later in the year, right? I might have to put a box together and give it to my mom and then, you know, get her to organize shipping it over once I've settled and can have it delivered to my place. But 
Yeah, okay, look, I made some progress. I took a little break before and I was just scrolling Instagram and I saw this reel by this woman who was showing a bunch of books and she was like, the books I read when I was 12 years old. And then she showed a bunch of other books and had captioned it with books that 12 year olds are reading now. And I didn't know what any of this reel meant because I don't know any of the books. I don't know any of the like content. And I was reading all of the comments and everyone in the comments was on the same page of there needs to be a better rating system for books because young kids have access to uh, books and they're reading books that realistically are meant for adults. And then I picked up the book that I bought today and I immediately understood what she was talking about. I opened the first page, I read the first two lines and it's just straight into talking about a man's junk and nowhere on the back did it indicate that it was going to be written in that manner. Nothing on the side, the front, on the inside, nothing. And yes, I probably should have read the first few lines of the book when I was at the store and I probably wouldn't have bought it just because it's not really my vibe. I, I'm gonna read the book anyway and see what it's like and then this will help me, you know, um, learn to pick out better books in the future. But I, I was like, that's kind of confronting. I wasn't expecting that language, but here we are. I like it when books are a little bit PG. I don't know why. I just, I find books that are written in really casual language almost annoying to read. I find when they use very blunt words to describe things are not the most pleasant. So I like things when they're just a little bit like PG. PG is probably the best way to describe it. I don't know why that's what I gravitate towards when I do read books, but I'm gonna read it anyway. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, I agree with this person who made this TikTok. There needs to be some sort of better rating system because I had no idea. And look, maybe I'm an idiot because like I'm not super well versed in the world of books and reading. I don't really understand things. I just have a few books and occasionally I like to read. Um, so if I'm wrong, please let me know. But that was just really interesting that I saw that reel and then picked up the book and immediately was like, oh yeah, yeah, I totally understand what you're talking about. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go and have a shower and get myself in my pajamas and kind of ready for bed. I'm not tired though, so that's kind of the problem. I just need to take my makeup off and like, I just wanna get comfortable, you know? I just wanna get comfortable. So I've just been sitting here and I was on my phone and I got a call from a no caller ID. And whenever I get a no caller ID, I always assume that it's like a telemarketer and I always answer the phone and just sit in silence just to see what happens on the other end. And I could hear like a TV noise in the background, which sometimes you hear office noises when you do that. And then I didn't hear anything. So as I went to hung up, I, I heard like the beginning of a woman's voice and I was like, I'm pretty sure that was my aunt, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Anyway, she rang back immediately and I haven't talked to my aunt in such a long time. This is my great aunt. This is my nan's sister. Uh, my great aunt is 95. My nan is 96. And I ended up having this lovely chat with my aunt and we caught up. We reminisced on some time from like 20 years ago when I was 15 I went on a trip with my nan and her two sisters and so it was me as like a 15 year old hanging out with all these 70 something year old women and it was the most fabulous trip I had so much fun it was like seeing my nan and her sisters be teenagers and young again and it was it was so much fun and so we just caught up and we had a chat and my nan isn't really so with it anymore she talks about a lot of things that have never really happened and her like capacity of conversation is quite limited these days but talking to my aunt everything sounded just the same as the very last time I talked to her until the very end of the conversation when I realized she'd kind of already forgotten some of the things I'd said at the beginning of the conversation and that's when it kind of hit me I was like okay so um this is what's happening things are changing and it just I don't know I got off the phone and I just felt really sad because it's just yeah I guess as you know it's just a natural part of life getting older and things declining but it just it made me so sad anyway I grabbed my aunt's address because I don't know where I put it um, and I did double check her phone number because she had no caller ID and I have it saved in my phone so I will make sure that I um contact her more often and now that I have her address I'm gonna write some letters to her and I'm gonna print out some pictures and things and just you know write the details so I can keep her updated you know with what's happening with my brothers and I need to do the same for my nan it has been on my to-do list for a really long time to do that for my nan and I was thinking about double checking in Big W today about 
printing out photos, but for some reason our Big W doesn't have like a printing photo section. So I don't know what to do. Is it something that I would place online? I wonder if there's even, like how do you print photos these days? Like where, where do you go? I'm gonna have to look at this right now because I just need to know where you print photos. Big W, order high quality photo prints online. Maybe it's just an online thing and then you just pick them up and I could get my mom to pick them up after work or something. But anyways, I need to go through my phone and pick out all of the photos like from of me and my brothers and my mom and the family from like my cousin's wedding and just like important things from this year. And then when I get all the photos, I'm gonna write in big letters in marker on the back, everybody's names, the date, like what's happening. And then that way I can um, keep my nan and my pa and then also now my aunt as well updated i'm gonna um do three let sets of letters with photos every couple of months this year and just keep them updated and then that way i think that'll be just like such a nice thing to do and yeah i really i might actually dedicate some serious time to that for that tomorrow um and just yeah put together photos and and things and write some letters kind of be like pen pals I think that's gonna be such a nice thing you know so yeah I'm gonna figure out this online thing and then I might call it a night here because I am just feeling really like oh my insides my insides hurt I'm tired I hate this time of the month I just want to go to bed so yeah anyways thanks for hanging out today I don't really know what this video is about I don't really know what I did it wasn't as productive as I wanted it to be but I still got some things done. I still can't believe I spent five hours in town. That disappeared really quickly. Anyways, I tried. I tried to have a productive day when I was feeling really meh and um, I made it. So anyways, I hope you're having a fabulous day. I hope you're not feeling the way that I am and I will see you in my next video.